Uh, the cyborg thing, obviously, it just comes down to me not being able to fight as much as I want to. And I think that uh, a lot of fighters go through the same thing. And, you know, we're just out here trying to trying to get as many fights as we can in. And if they call me for a fight, I'm definitely not scared to fight. I'm out here to fight. I train to fight. And, uh, you know, I don't want to end my career and and have that, well, maybe you could have beat Cyborg or maybe, maybe I should have fought her. Maybe I should have fought her. I don't want to have them kind of feeling. So I'm like, yeah, you know, I'll take that fight. I'll take whatever fight you guys give me. I, I obviously think I'm ranked a certain level in the world, and I think I'm a tough enough fighter, and I think I'm qualified. And, you know, if, if I feel that way, I think I should force myself to fight that way. So, you know, I take every fight that's handed to me. I just want to compete, you know, and, and I, I, I see these girls coming in every day, and, you know, they're younger and younger, and I'm fighting younger and younger girls. It's crazy. But um, the talent is getting better and better, and, you know, I don't know when my time's up. I definitely don't. And I feel great right now, and I'm I'm on top, and I'm winning, and I'm dominant. So obviously, I don't feel like I'm gonna get taken out anytime soon. But man, there's just there's just a lifespan in this sport, and and it ain't too long. And I want to get all the fights that I think I can get in, and, and I have to be fighting at my potential and my level, and and to feel good about myself, I have to be fighting the top girls.